Welcome to my home Tisho Cortor Lab. Welcome back to another video. Now, before I get started, I would like to thank you once again for now the 11,000 subscribers. I can't believe we have reached this many people. I mean, I can't believe this many people are interested in tissue quarter. I mean, I think this is absolutely fantastic. Now, you are not aware we are running a giveaway. So one of you guys from anywhere in the world can win the opportunity to attend our online tissue quarter masterclass this July 29 and 30. So to, uh, for more information on how to enter the giveaway, make sure to check last week's video or check our Instagram or TikTok at PlantCellTech so you can see how to enter the giveaway. Now back to the main video and today I wanted to just give you a lab tour because I mean we have a lot of new subscribers watching the channel and a lot of people are not aware but this is a home tissue quarter lab. I mean you always see me here sitting here on this chair in front of the laminar flow hood so this is kind of what you pretty much what you see uh, but a lot of people are actually not aware but this is a home tissue quarter lab I mean this lab is in my house I mean right here I'm sitting on my bed uh, this is actually my room um, but I mean I have built this lab in my house during the past couple of years and I mean if I was able to build this lab uh, you can do it as well i learned how to do tissue quarter 13 years ago by watching the very limited uh, amount of videos that was in youtube i mean it was a long very long process and i mean today you have a lot more opportunity to be able to get into what i call the hobby but it's not only a hobby i mean you can find the basically the love of growing plants and propagate plants a lot faster where you can start your own business. So if you are doing something that you may don't like at the moment, you can start a new career. So you can learn how to do tissue quarter for watching kind of these videos that I make pretty much on the uh, every week or maybe use, I mean, there are some other channels as well that are making excellent content on tissue quarter so it is 100 percent possible to do to start your own lab in your own house now i have built quite the setup uh, i mean this is a cup quite a few years of work and that uh, has been taking me to build this lab uh, i mean uh, ho um, i don't know if you have seen like i said this is there are a lot of new people uh, watching the channel so you may have not seen this video right here, but I would in, I don't like to watch this video because this is one of the very first videos that I made. And although I'm still not very good in camera, I'm still very camera shy, I'm much, much better than I was back then. So I recommend to go watch that video and compare to what my lab used to be back in the day and what I have right now. So want to give you a little bit of a, a lab tour so kind of over here this is kind of my cultures uh, so base essentially i have um, two of these like shelving units that you can find um on, on the um, like a, one of those big box stores and what i did just to kind of have more space saving I because i mean like say i'm in my room i don't have a ton of space i took um three shelving units and then I put all the shelves together so you can see that the spacing is a bit lower a uh, lot smaller so I can have a, a lot more shelves and I'm using like these containers to keep all my plants separate so basically each container is a different species of plant and at the moment I haven't done I want to be completely honest I haven't done a lot of tissue culture. Uh, I've been working a lot on like, uh, I actually have two jobs. Uh, plant, plant cell technology is actually kind of my second job in the afternoon. Uh, in the morning, I work for the, for the university, for the University of Tennessee. And in the afternoon, I work for plant cell technology. So I haven't got that much time to be able to do my tissue culture work. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to, to make more time. I kind of, in the process of kind of fixing my 
my work schedule so uh, I can get back into my into the actual hobby that I consider this to be a hobby not really like a career well it is my career obviously but it's I don't consider this work because I really enjoy working uh, with my plants and um, do the tissue quarter work uh, but I haven't got the chance to do it as much as I wanted to so at the moment I actually have a what I consider not that many plants I still have over 10,000 plants just here so you can see how tissue quarter is great for getting a, a lot of plants and in a very small growing area so this is why tissue quarter is beautiful I have some plants here where I don't know you saw my um, I don't know you saw one of my TikToks that I posted a couple of um, like last week I believe like two weeks ago well it's going to be like two weeks when you watch this video um, I have this aloe vera that it is from um, February of uh, 2021 and I mean it is July of 2023 so you I mean it doesn't look good at all but I mean that's it's still alive so what well, that is important I can take the plants from here uh, actually let me know if you want want me to if you want to see that I mean this is a plant that I was just going to throw away because it's just an aloe vera I'm not really interested in growing like aloe vera in tissue corto. This was just kind of one of the beginner plants that I was showing in a video how to do the sterilization for this plant because this is a great beginner plant. Uh, but let me know you want me to actually keep propagating these plants just to kind of prove the point that is I started this culture two and a half years ago and then you can still place this in just new media and keep it growing. So I don't know if I want to uh, place in new media just kind of just depending on what you think just let me know you want me to keep growing this plant uh, but yeah I have a plants that are very old here and I have a ton of plants uh, so that, that's something something else uh, over here um, hopefully I can see, see it from there this is kind of my, my desk I'll be honest I don't really use it that much uh, it is a standing desk uh, it's great um, uh, but I, I also have my chair here over here uh, I have my teleprompter. Uh, sometimes I do a little, uh, some uh, scripts. You can tell this video is not scripted at all. I just kind of mumbling all around. My computer is uh, turning off. And then I have my um, TV right here, which I can move this around as well. I have lights over there. So sometimes if I'm doing like the, um, uh, oh, well, okay, let me show you. I have the lights here because sometimes I have the, the camera pointing from here. Uh, where I can either read the what is in the teleprompter or just kind of talk around but like I said this is my room as well uh, so I have a green screen which I don't use anymore because I'm mostly sitting here but I still just kind of put it to the side so essentially you don't see what is behind there which is just another shelving unit and you can probably because the, the camera has a really wide angle you can see a little bit part of, of the bed which don't want to do just to see the, the the my bed in in the videos um the tripod right now is on like a on the on a mini fridge if i if i go down right here it may follow me i don't know you can see it from there uh this uh, there is a mini fridge right here where i keep all my uh tissue culture uh like media or the chemicals the plant grow regulators all of that i do not keep any food in there that's kind of just my lab fridge i have my separate fridge in my kitchen where i keep everything else but no food allowed in this fridge and this is my lamina flow hood this is kind of the main part of my lab i mean this is what it takes the most space here in my lab um, now a lot of people uh, this is probably what people don't consider uh, like my um, basically my lab or like let's say my like this channel no as like a home tissue quarter lab because I actually have a laminar flow hood uh, but I pay I bet I, I can tell you I paid a lot less for this than a homemade laminar flow hood I paid you probably a lot of you guys already know because you have uh, long time viewers may already know how much I pay for this lab uh, for this uh, uh, hood uh, because I actually post a video on how I purchased this hood I paid $38 no $36 
it was like 38 with some fees or whatever. $36 lamina flojo. This is the best purchase I have ever made. I mean, this lamina flojo works perfectly. The only thing I did, I just give it a paint. That's all I did. Uh, but it works perfectly. I got it from um, from my university, uh, from a surplus auction. So, I mean, you are more in interested in how to, how, how to purchase lab equipment. You check this video. Um, it's another old video, which I, some of the old videos, I don't like to, to watch them. Um, so, yeah, it is, uh, it has, basically has done a lot for me because this is kind of the main part of like like the channel because I do pretty much all the experiments in this lamina flow hood um, everything that I, all the plants that I have here have been propagated in this lamina flow hood this um, my lab um, I have very little contamination um, mostly if I have contamination is because I'm doing experiments uh, but other than that, if I use moving plants from one container to the other one, I very, very rarely see any contamination. And that's because, obviously, because I do have a lamina flow hood. Uh, but it is totally possible to do tissue quarter without one of these. Uh, you can do it with just a plastic container. There are some other videos uh, where you can see where people use plastic containers and maybe put like make a hose and put some gloves in there and then you can just do the work in there. That works. I mean, just just watch the video of my uh, of my old lab and you can see that in there uh, where I was just using a container and use um, Bunzer burner to, to use my to sterilize my tools and that's how I was doing tissue quarter. So it is. 100% possible but anyways this is the lamina flow hood now another thing that we do here at plant cell technology is that we do uh, consultations so if you have questions about plant tissue cortor and you want to talk one-on-one uh, -on -one with me about tissue cortor stuff like that uh, whatever plants uh, you obviously you can to follow where you uh, the uh, instructions where you can tell me what kind of questions you have in advance so I can do my research in advance and we have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, Zoom, um, Zoom consultation I have I mean who has uh, well it's a TV but it's basically who has a monitor on their lamina flow hood um, so I had a, a monitor I have the um, I mean I run in my my uh, Mac I have a Mac mini which runs the whole setup um, I will I will let me know if you want me to show you maybe not on this video but I can show you on like a let's say like behind the scenes on like a TikTok or Instagram or kind of what I do on my setup but I have a Mac mini I have my computer I have cameras so whenever I'm, I'm recording a video so whenever I'm recording a video I have the the uh, the computer I have a stream deck where I can just change angles where I can use my my phone I can use my other phone that I have here I have my top overall camera and I have my face cam uh, the light and the microphone which I'm using right here right now uh, which is kind of this is actually a very new setup this is kind of just be new so you uh, will see kind of different starting different kind of content well not content but the way I record uh, in the next from now on and I have the microscope right here which also has a camera which I can also plug directly into the uh, into the computer so whenever I'm making a video uh, I can just push a button and change the camera angles so that's another thing if I'm doing a consultation and I'm actually showing somebody how to do something. I can, I have the cameras where you can see me, see my face. And I have like a cameras on the side, camera on top, where they can see what, I can, what I'm doing here with my hands. And if there is something that requires the use of the microscope, I mean, here we go. You, I have the microscope where you can see exactly what I'm doing. So that's kind of the setup for the lamina flow hood. Um, I don't know if there is, Anything else? I pretty much this video is going kind of kind of long now, but uh, if you want me to give you a tour 
or like a an actual show you what plans I have in tissue culture. Let me know you want me to do kind of that lab uh, wall to go or lab tour. Uh, it's going to be maybe um, kind of maybe long. I just want to be showing you what kind of plans I have. Um, so I don't know if you want to see that. Uh, so just let me know. Uh, but anyways, um, just kind of something different. I uh, just wanted to show you my lab and kind of just tell you that I have built this lab myself. Um, obviously with help of like some friends and family and plant cell technology has helped me a lot with this. I mean, this is kind of what I do with my work now. And I also learned how to do tissue culture by myself just watching videos uh, online 13 years ago with it was very limited information. Right now you have YouTube, you have Facebook groups, Instagram, TikTok. So now is the time if you want to get into a new career uh, with doing tissue quarter it is a great time now you want to do this like a, obviously you're watching videos i can only show you so much uh in like 10 20 minutes video so you probably end up with a lot of questions which obviously you can type put in the comments and we can answer as best as we can uh but the, the best way to learn how to do tissue culture is to actually do the practice. So in the tissue culture masterclass, um, the, the one in person, I mean, you actually working, doing the job with me. Um, so that's kind of probably the best way to learn. So you want to do act the actually work doing the tissue culture with you. Uh, we make media, we sterilize the plants, uh, kind of give you kind of some of the the tricks that I have learned during the last 13 years on how to um, how to determine when the plants is sterile or kind of the timing on how to see the plants um, just kind of tricks on how to make your work more efficient on, on under the hood and how to work in the hood to keep everything sterile and yeah I mean this is kind of something that it is uh, much easier for me and much easier for people to be able to to learn uh, just kind of by being in the class so you're interested in attending one of the uh, tissue quarter master classes make sure to check the link down below where you can sign up and now a lot of people have asked for the online version because it's like uh, i mean this is a in-person class so trying to travel to dc can be expensive uh, we know that so uh, or you are probably from another country as well we have a lot of international people watching the channel uh, so now you have the opportunity now we have the online tissue quarter masterclass so again check the link down in the description that is going to be on july 29 and 30 uh, i hope i'll see you there and then i'll see you in the next one for watching the video if you are enjoying these tissue quarter videos make sure to follow us on social media for more informative content and if you are interested on conducting your own tissue quarter experiments make sure to check us out at plantsafetechnology.com for all the products you need to get started use code fp10 for 10 percent off on your first purchase